everyone welcome back to spectrum classes this is our part 9 video on the topic metallurgy and in this video we are going to discuss about the ferrous and non ferrous alloys so it is very difficult for us to memorize these alloys and uh, at least one question in most of the exams has been asked from this alloy so this is from exam point of view is also very important before start with the video i'll show you how many alloys we are going to memorize here in this video if you really want to memorize these with the memorizing technique so you keep watching this video till the end so let's start with the term alloy and their properties an alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal and a small amount of non-metal as in the case of a steel an alloy is prepared by mixing the various metals in molten state in required proportion and then cooling them to room temperature if we are having the metal and non-metal then we first molten the metal and to that some amount of non-metal is added and the mixture is cooled down to the room temperature this is how the alloys are prepared and what is called alloy properties of an alloy are different from the properties of the constituent metal so here i have summarized some of them alloys are stronger than the metals from which they are made Alloys are harder than the constituent metals. Alloys are more resistant to corrosion. Alloys have lower melting point than the constituent metals as well as alloys have lower electrical conductivity than the pure metal from which it is formed. So these are some properties of the alloys and how they are formed. Now we are coming to the ferrous alloys. So before discuss about the ferrous alloys, let us have a brief overview about the metal iron. Right? now you may have a question here we are saying iron metal and uh, we are talking about the ferrous alloys so what is the relationship between iron and ferrous so ferrum is the latin name of iron and it is represented by the symbol fe its atomic number is 26 it is d block element and in the plus 2 oxidation state it is termed as ferrous and in the plus 3 oxidation state it is termed as ferric this is about the term ferrous let us have a brief overview about the metal iron so it is obtained from the blast furnace the molten metal which is obtained from the blast furnace is known as pig iron right so here i have written the composition of pig iron in hindi it is also known as kacha loha this pig iron is used to make cast iron that is dhalwa loha and the composition is given over here and also used to form the roth iron which is also known as pitwa loha in hindi right so this these are the different type of iron which we obtain and this roth iron is the purest form of iron and uh, the alloys of iron or we can say ferrous alloys so first we will start with the steel so to steel in hindi is known as ispat so here steel is the composition of iron plus carbon carbon is a non metal so this is the ferrous alloys are composition of metal and non metal this is also known as mild steel so here is the steel and we are having different type of steel first is stainless steel steel right so stainless steel the composition of stainless steel is chromium 10%, nickel 1 to 2%, manganese 0.3%. This is very expensive and this is also resistant to the corrosion. So here is the stainless steel and the next is manganese steel in, as the name suggests. Steel, iron and carbon and manganese. So manganese is in addition to the iron and carbon we are having manganese. So here 12 to 14 percent is manganese added to this. Now tungsten steel. So 10 to 20 percent tungsten is added to this iron and carbon. Right. Then nickel steel. So nickel is 3 to 5 percent added to the iron and carbon. The next is chromium steel. Chromium is 2 to 4 percent chromium is added to the chromium steel. 
and there are some other type of steels are also there and these compositions are having different properties like tungsten steel is very hard so in that way these are having different properties and and they are used in different places as per the requirement so one objective question was there this pendulum of the watch is made up of so pendulum is formed by inverse or a type of steel with composition 0.3% to 0.5% carbon and 30 to 36% nickel and why we are using this inverse in the pendulum of watch because it is practically have zero coefficient of expansion that is why we are using now we are coming to the non ferrous alloys and guys this is i must tell you this is very very interesting so here we are having copper so copper is cu this is the pure element which is present in the periodic table right which we used to write and brass and bronze are the two important alloys of this copper how we are going to memorize this uh, composition of brass and bronze and how they looks like so first i will tell you how to memorize this so in the brass we are having s and in the bronze we are having c e. and on cross we get here copper and zinc copper is the common element copper and zinc z, z for zinc so brass is having zinc and bronze is having tin so cross is there so in this manner you can memorize this brass and bronze now i will show you how these looks like so this is the copper and this copper is also known as in hindi tamba now here is brass and brass in hindi is known as pital and now the bronze bronze is looks like and in hindi we used to say this kansa right and how we are going to memorize this so copper alloys brass and bronze brass is having copper and zinc bronze is having copper and tin the next is i will show you this is what i went to the market and uh, we asked the vendor to show the different type of metals or utensils which are present in his shop so this is of pital or brass this is of copper and this is of bronze this is the outside surface and uh, inside surface it has polish of brass so this is how it looks like now here i will tell you the technique how one can memorize the different alloys of copper so copper has several alloys so first i will tell you the german silver copper is common element to each of these alloys so copper so german so zinc means it is form of brass so copper zinc and this n here i'll show you n n is for nickel so copper zinc and nickel for german silver and it is the name of a place so we are having dutch metal so dutch metal netherlands related to the place so we are having copper and zinc the next is bell metal here is the bell metal right so bell metal is copper and tin only in different composition gun metal gun metal gun here german zinc gun so here we are having copper tin and zinc right all three are there the next is coinage metal in the coinage metal we are having copper tin plus phosphorus 1% so here you can see here is the copper tamba copper is having two important alloys brass and bronze brass is having copper and zinc as i told you since it is having s and bronze is having g so brass is having zinc and bronze is having tin then german copper zinc nickel right dutch metal related to the place german and dutch copper and zinc the bronze bronze bell metal bell metal copper and tin again gun metal copper tin and zinc gun c z n gun coinage metal copper tin and phosphorus now here we are having other uh, alloys here is the monel metal so n n i highlighted over here so n n stands for nickel this is the here in this alloy we are having nickel as major element so nickel is there copper is there right if we are having minimum amount of iron then we don't say them ferrous alloys right 
तो मोनल मेटल कॉपर एंड निकल निकल इज द मेजर एलिमेंट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड कॉपर एंड निकल अगेन राइट रोल गोल्ड एल्यूमिनियम एल्यूमिनियम इज देयर हेयर मोनल कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एल्यूमिनियम रोल गोल्ड एल्यूमिनियम एल तो कॉपर एंड एल्यूमिनियम तो आई होप यू विल बी एबल टू मेमोराइज दिस नेक्स्ट इज ड्यूरालुमिन ड्यूरालुमिन एल्यूमिनियम एल्यूमिनियम विद कॉपर राइट सो मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट एल्यूमिनियम कॉपर मैंगनीज एंड मैग्नीशियम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इच दिस इज यूज टू मेक द यूटेंसिल्स लाइक कुकर मैग्नाल्यूमिन एज द नेम सजेस्ट मैग्नीशियम एल्यूमिनियम द कंपोजिशन वाई अलॉय एल्यूमिनियम ए एल एल्यूमिनियम कॉपर एल्यूमिनियम इज द मेजर एल्यूमिन निकिल मैग्नीशियम नाउ टेन एंड लेड अलॉयज टेन एंड लेड अलॉयज शोल्डर्स शोल्डर्स टेन एंड लेड दीज आर लो मेल्टिंग अलॉयज बेबिट मेटल बेबिट मेटल टेन एंड लेड अलॉन्ग विद एंड डेम दिस इज अ वेरी फनी टेक्निक इट यू कैन रिलेट इट विद रेबिट हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेंबर दिस शोल्डर एस फॉर टेन एंड डी फॉर लेड शोल्डर ऑफ ए रेबिट और यू कैन से शोल्डर ऑफ ए रेबिट दीज टू आर टेन एंड लेड अलॉय द नेक्स्ट इज अलॉयज ऑफ बिस्मिथ एंड लेड Bismuth, lead, and tin. These are the major components. And here you can memorize this like rose four would be. You better understand this. So here B for bismuth. So rose and wood are related to each other with the term bismuth. So all four alloys we are having tin and lead, and in rose and wood we are having bismuth two as the major component, right? So in this manner you can memorize these four. alloys amalgams those alloys which are having mercury as an ingredient so those are known as amalgams the next is gold gold alloys the purity of gold is measured in carats pure gold is of 24 carats which is very soft so to make this harder it is alloyed with either copper or silver in india the gold jewelry is of 22 carat as reported So twenty-two carats means two parts of copper or silver, and the rest twenty-two parts of gold. So this is how the purity of gold is measured in carat. Once again, I'll just give you the brief overview about the non-ferrous alloys: so brass, bronze, then German zinc. Apart from this, brass, brass is copper and zinc, German zinc and nickel. Dutch related to the place copper and zinc, bronze copper and tin, bell metal again copper and tin, gun metal jade and so copper tin and zinc, coinage metal phosphorus is additionally added. Monal metal nickel is the main ingredient with copper. Constant and nickel and copper. C constant and nickel. Rolled gold aluminium plus copper. So copper is the main major element. Duralumin, aluminium, copper, magnesium, manganese. As the name suggests, aluminium. So aluminium is the main ingredient. Copper is there. Magnesium, aluminium and magne magnesium. Why alloy? Copper, aluminium, nickel, manganese are in lesser amount. Solder, tin and lead. So S, tin and D is lead. Lead. Solder, tin. Lead, babbit metal, tin, lead, antimony, copper. So wood and rose related to the bismuth, right? Bismuth, lead, and tin are there. Bismuth, lead, and tin are there. In wood metal, we are having cadmium too, but in rose metal, we don't have cadmium. Amalgam, mercury is one of the ingredient. Gold alloy, copper or silver is added to the gold alloy. So I hope you will be able to memorize these ferrous and non-ferrous alloys. And so, if you find this lecture helpful, please subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching.